Hello! Review time again today with this thing called the MJXRC. It's one of these little toy grade quadcopters which is controllable by a phone. Now, I don't normally do these and I'm not an expert at the phone, so in order to progress I need someone who is. Your average 12 year old will always use a phone over anything else. So I decided to um, review this on the basis that Sophie would be able to help me here. Yeah. <laughs> so let's delve into the box and see what we get first. We get some instructions. We get the little quad itself, which looks quite nice. It's very metallic looking, but it's, it's plastic. We get some prop guards, which might be handy if flying indoors, and I don't see why you'd want to fly outdoors particularly. Get a 380 milliamp 1S battery with this handy tag to pull it out because this is going to go inside this little cavity so you can yank it out again easily. You then get your standard USB charger, a set of spare props and a little tool for changing the props. All standard stuff really. The weird thing is, and this came from RC Moment to review, one day after we got the original another one turned up so we've got two to fly. Hopefully maybe some, even some chase flights if I can work out how to use a phone. First thing you should do on this one is download the app for your phone and that's how you fly it. Handily enough, Sophie's got Android, I've got iOS so we can at least see how the two work or don't work. But we'll charge the batteries and get these things fly. Okay, so Sophie has got the little quad on the floor and she's connected it to her app. And we see there we've got the live image with the um, controls on screen. So we've got that recording and she's now going to attempt to take off, which okay. is frightening all of us. <laughs> Can I go? Yeah. Engine start. Do I press it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, try lift it up. Nice and gentle. <laughs> That's very quick. Stop it. Okay, we've just found the settings for automatic takeoff and landing. So, so press engine start first. Yeah, engine start first and then take off. So Sophie's gonna try take off. Press the button. Did you land? <laughs> what? Did you press the landing button? Yeah. Oh okay. Sorry, So it just drifted over a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and tried to kill the dog. I'm sorry. I'm so okay, this time Sophie's going to use the accelerometer control using the auto takeoff because you've got no throttle control with it. Okay? Oh. <laughs> That's much easier. Yeah? yeah. So the only thing with the accelerometer control on the phone is you've got no way of yawing or changing your bottle. Yeah, I know. But hey, it's fine. So it's much more controllable. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, this is, this is one for the children then. Trying to back into the middle. So why don't you try a spot lane? Do you think you can get it out through here? To me? Oh. And back to you? And let's try landing right there. Landing button. Hey, that worked all right, didn't it? Yay, that was, that was enjoyable. So you're happier with that idea that of is, flying? That is much better for children, I have to say. <laughs> It's much more like rapid and violent when you use that. I think that's more for adults. We found out as well that you can use the yaw control when using the accelerometer. It's just not with necessary. Your thumb. It's not necessary. But only if you need to correct it. So yeah. can you show it quickly, Sophie, without crashing? Okay. So she's using the accelerometer to move it. 
Move that towards you a bit. So the question is, if you're using the accelerometer mode, which Sophie prefers, can you actually use the screen for any usefulness? We're going to find out. Just pressing it to take off. Oh my god, no. No, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I really can't. I really can't. No, I can't. Alright, well it's, just, just it, practice flying it around. Okay. <laughs> it felt really weird looking at it. Because I was looking at the screen, then I realised how close it was to my face. So, with Sophie not wanting to FPV, I had a go myself. And this is me looking at my phone, trying to FPV, and it's really tricky. Mainly because if you look at the field of view you get, it's really narrow, so you just can't see what's happening. Also, I just wanted to make little small adjustments to the yaw, but every time I touched it and obviously you don't have the feel because you're on a you're on a touch screen but I'm just moving the yaw just tiny amounts it seems to just spin around really quickly that was the cat post I'm hitting because I didn't see it out the corner there and that's the, the slowest yaw I can do and uh, inevitably it uh, ends in a crash so we will need more room hello we're outside now Although we said you probably wouldn't need to be outside to fly one of these, the camera angle is so narrow, we figure we'd go outside and try something. Also, Sophie is going to try a sort of automated <coughs> system where you can draw in a little path using the quad. Now, these don't have any GPS or anything, so quite how it's going to do that, I don't know. I think it's just going to put thrust into certain angles for a certain amount of time, but obviously it doesn't know what the wind situation is, which is fortunately quite light today. Our main problem here is we've got these joggers going past. <laughs> we should, we'll just have to wait until they move out of the way. You want me to draw like an, an ellipse? Yeah, just draw an ellipse. Okay. Okay, then I guess we do engine start and take off and see what happens. So, where's it going? I have no idea. Um, Press land then. Press the land. Okay. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I took off and I think um, it, it wasn't landing at all, and I didn't have any control over it, it just went that way. Like... So, you tried hitting the auto land button? Yeah, nothing happened, and then I tried going down in the throttle button and nothing happened. So I'm going to see if it's in that bush. It, it just flew off, basically. Did you see which direction it went? Yeah, let's go and see if we can find it now. Okay. Okay, okay I'm going to try and fly FPV where we've got a little bit more space. Although, we've just lost one, so it clearly doesn't cope in much of a wind, but let's, let's see what happens. You ready, Pix? Yeah. Your shadow's in it, is that okay? That's okay. Come on at me. How'd you zoom? Oh my god. Dad, do you use this to zoom? No. I've got good image. It so. is. Terrible. I, I've lost it already. I can't even see it. Oh, found it. I can't really use this. I just remember I'm not actually... Yeah, where are you going? Landing button. Landing button. Press the landing button. Where's it going? <laughs> oh my god. I'm doing full. Dad! <laughs> Try and get away from us. The landing button's not working. I know. I'm pressing it all the way towards us to try and get it back here. Yeah? These quads don't like us. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Dad? Yeah. You might need to make it stop. I'm trying to make it stop. I just went into a bush. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's try and catch it up. <laughs> oh my god. My, uh, hang on, let's go high rates. I might be able to get it. Come on, come back. This is full. Um, <laughs> come on, throttle go down. This is failing. This is terrible. That this one's going to go into ever. the bush as well. Oh, they can look careful. I've got my finger fully <laughs> on the other one, and I'm going throttle down. Throttle, throttle down. These clearly don't like us anymore. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't want to come down. Where are you going? <laughs> oh my god! It won't land. Press the landing button again. Land. Not <laughs> land. For Christ's sake, land! <laughs> this is insane. How is this happening to us? I don't know. I could try the emergency thing, but I think it's going to blow away very quickly. Ready? Emergency landing. Yay! <laughs> Feedback? <laughs> it doesn't work in FPV. <laughs> it doesn't work in even light wind. I should have tried my emergency landing, but and, I don't uh, think it would have stopped. Well, a bit late for that. That was on high rates with my <laughs> thumb all the way on Elevan, trying to bring it against the light wind. And we basically had to chase it down the field. Yeah, we were worried. Do the emergency, and I pressed the landing button, which should bring it down gently. That didn't work. I had to do the emergency power off thing. Uh, which made it fall out of the sky, <laughs> thankfully. We almost lost both of them, <laughs> but we've just lost one. Hooray! <laughs> I'm not sure I trust them anymore. I'm not sure I trust it at all. <laughs> Inside, not FPV, using ex accelerometer. Fine, that's good. That's okay. Anything not... else? No. Never go outside with these. No. Never ever. Well, there you go. And I think we figured out why they sent us two. It's because when we lose one, we still have one left. <laughs> so, what happened there? We tried one of the modes, it didn't seem to work. I tried flying this FPV, that was terrible. I pressed the landing button, that didn't work. We struggled to get it back. So, what are the good things about this quad, Sophie? Um, when you use it indoors in the accelerometer mode, it's very controllable and very stable. Yeah, it seems to use this little sensor here that does some sort of height holding. So you don't have to worry about your throttle you can just literally move it around with the phone and indoors that's pretty good and that works well. What are the things that don't work Sophie? So this is definitely not an FPV quad so do not try FPVing it. The arrow is, uh, the angle is much too narrow you just can't see anything. It's not very easy to control when you're just kind of using your thumbs either. It's not very stable or controllable and uh, when you try to loop it round, it just completely <laughs> flies away from you and lands in a bush. Sophie's talking about the automated flight mode where you draw the picture. Yeah. But there were some interesting features on the app and a lot of them didn't work. So when we pressed the land button, we carried on <laughs> flying away. Um, and when we tried to do the loop, it didn't do a loop, it just flew away. And that was the last we saw of it. So... Goodbye Frida. Yeah. A mixed bag. Indoors, accelerometer fine for everything else not so good. But there you go, um, I'll give this one to Sophie because she lost hers. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you in another video soon. Bye for now. Bye.